Hey guys, meteorologist Chris Tomer here with this morning mountain weather update. My first stop is radar. I want to show you what's happening right now. Look at the rain and the snow up there in northern Wyoming and parts of Montana. Very high snow levels. I talked about this the last couple of days. Um, we are seeing snow, but uh, only at the higher elevations. In fact, let me show you what it looks like up at Big Sky right now up at the uh, the ski area so it's all rain lower on the mountain and into the valley but there is snow up there you can see the white near the top of big sky up there um, let's go down to jackson hole it is rain at the base area you can see how wet it is but it is snow higher on the mountain up on rendezvous and the view back to cody bowl you can see it's snowing right here not talking about huge accumulation but nonetheless it is snowing up there right now now, my focus for this update is mainly going to be on the next storm system. What I was showing you was storm one. The next one is storm number two, and that's mainly going to affect Colorado between Saturday afternoon, Saturday night, and Sunday morning. So 921 into 922. An area of low pressure is going to spin up, strengthen, and force a development of some upslope precip over the top of Colorado's continental divide and the front range high peaks. And there could be several inches of heavy wet accumulation with a rain snow line with that storm running at about 9,500 feet. Initially it may be higher, but then I think it's going to fall to about 9,000 to 9,500 feet for the uh, duration of that storm system. All right, let me take you over to the jet stream forecast and just show you how all this is going to be supported. Um, so you can see the next storm system, the dip in the jet sitting over California. Now this one's going to go further to the south. It's going to dig down in the four corners and then eventually move into Colorado. So watch it. All right, here we go. There's Thursday afternoon, 5 p.m. Here's Friday, and there comes our low, heading towards the four corners. You can see the dip in the jet. Now this is Saturday at 5 p.m. Here comes the low. It's gonna to start to set up and spin up and strengthen in Colorado. Let me take you into Sunday, and there it is. You can see the dip in the jet and the precip is underway. And then in its wake, it leaves a big, broad trough over the Intermountain West. So that tells me that it's gonna be unsettled um, across a lot of the Intermountain West. Now, this wasn't necessarily the case yesterday when I was looking at the data. It looked like the storm would move away. We'd get some high pressure ridging over the, the Southern tier. Today, it's a little different. The strength of the low is, it's much stronger. And that may force a big broad trough to sit there and it remains unsettled and i'll show you what i'm talking about here here's the forecast radar and satellite this is by 5 30 today storm number one spinning through montana and wyoming so it doesn't move fast at all so a lot of that precip is going to continue but the next low you can already see some of the precip over the sierra in california here we are on thursday morning thursday afternoon now, by Friday, it starts to make its move. The low moves towards uh, Utah and then eventually towards the Four Corners. This is Saturday morning. Here's Saturday afternoon. Things really start to get going here. You can see all of the rain beginning over Colorado, some snow at the very highest of elevations. The air is initially uh, warm, but then the snow level will fall. Watch what happens by Sunday morning. It turns over to a lot of blue there over pretty much any place above 9,500 feet. And especially above tree line. I think that's where we're going to see several inches of accumulation if it sets up like this. Then by the time we get into Sunday afternoon, the storm breaks and begins to move away. And then by Monday morning, it's dry. But watch what happens. That unsettled pattern with areas of low pressure are going to run north to south and just sit in that trough over the four corners all the way through Wednesday. Look at the precip. Wednesday, Thursday. And again, by Friday, another area of energy dropping south and just sitting there over the four corners. So it really sets up a longer term sort of um, unsettled pattern. As far as accumulation goes, a little bit of leftover snow there through parts of uh, Wyoming and Montana today. But the bullseye, it's obvious. It's right there in Colorado. And again, that happens Saturday afternoon, Saturday night into Sunday morning. In fact, let me zoom it in for you. Pretty impressive. Um, in some cases, the magenta color would be a foot of snow or more, and that's, that's mainly above tree line. Kind of little divide of Colorado, Grays and Tories, Beardstadt, up towards uh, Loveland Ski Area at the very highest of elevations. 
uh, running over Bertha and then up to Long's Peak, some of the Indian peaks, especially up towards Cameron Pass. You can see the purple area banked up against those areas. Now at lower elevations, significantly less snow. Um, so on Vail Mountain, high on Vail Mountain, maybe six inches. High on Breckenridge, say high on Peak 9, maybe six inches. Um, significantly less as you drop down I-70 towards Echo. Uh, maybe one, two, three inches through Idaho Springs. Much, much less in those areas. The, everything is still very warm, lower at lower elevations. But nonetheless, and I don't want to forget about Leadville and the Sawatch. If you drop down towards Leadville and the Sawatch and the Collegiates, you're probably going to see three to six inches of snow accumulation um, higher up. So we've got quite a bit of action here um, in the forecast for this weekend in Colorado. Pretty exciting stuff, guys. Thanks for tuning in here. Always appreciate it and take care.